All right, so we're going to teach a few um, tips on clipping. So <clears throat> basically when you're clipping, what you want to make sure is the hair, we've been having good success with diffusing for about five minutes upside down in this area first before we put clips in. So that's what we did with Sandy's hair today. Uh, the next step is basically when you're clipping, I like to take all of my fingers and pinch the section that I'm pulling or that I'm looking to pick up. I pinch and pull up on the roots straight to the ceiling and I'm really pulling my fingers far enough away that I'm able to slip my clip in. When I do slip my clip in, it's not open like this, clamping the section. It's actually only open about a centimeter. And when I slide this in, I want to make sure I have a nice arch or arc. <laughs> we debated on which was the proper word. Um, but basically, I'm going to slip this in. I'm open about a centimeter and I'm going to rake the clip along the scalp to make sure it's in there tight down to the root. Then I just drop the hair down. So I'm going to repeat that. Usually I work back and forth on each section. So I'm going to repeat this over on this side. I'm going to take this puppy out. Um, so basically, here's my section. I want to get nice root lift so I'm reaching I'm basically pinching about an inch along the part and about two an inch and a half to two inches down this way so I pinch and lift so I have a nice arch in there coming right from the part and I rake the clip along the scalp and I'm really only taking us the center of this big section of hair that I'm holding not the whole section when I when I do this so I'm gonna repeat again over here pinching lifting clip is only open about a centimeter and I'm working my way into the center of this section. I'm playing hide and go seek with my clip. I don't really want to see it in there. It just needs to be in. And I'm going to repeat. So I really work my way forward in the front section and how I know where to pick up. The hair is already clumped in the places where I need to be putting a clip. So that's kind of your guide. So basically again, I'm lifting, pinching and lifting the hair right at the root straight up and I'm going to take again about a centimeter my clip is open at the end and I'm going to rake it in to the scalp and probably one last clip depends on the person and what their hair is like some people in the front I will often just lift up and where the curl likes to curve is where I will sneak a clip in it just depends on how the client wants to wear their hair in the front Sandy's hair I think we could use a little bit of lift so I'll probably just take an extra clip in here. Sometimes I even just clip the part together. Just depends again on the person. But I think we're going to go in and stick another clip in here. All right, so that's basically clipping 101 in through the front. Um, and the crown is really the same way. There's many ways to clip. Is there right or wrong? Not really. There's many ways to do it. But I find that if you are clipping, as long as you take these rules into account where you're lifting the root, you're sliding the clip down and instead of clamping it, you're sliding it against the scalp when you put it in. Um, you'll pretty much have success. You have to be careful. One last tip is that when you put this clip in, that you don't push it too far forward. So if I take this clip and I push it in, but I go down a little bit too far, you're going to have a flat spot and then an arch. And that's not what we want. We want basically sliding it in and stopping right about there. The spring of the clip should actually be on the opposite side of the part when you're done. So those are some tips on clipping. And this is Sandy's hair and that's it. And stay tuned for different ways to clip and more tutorials with Krista Lovett, Curl Specialist.